so today's video is going to be all about how to refresh your curls or your hair, your kinks, coils, um, in between washes. So as you all know, I like to wash my hair at least once a week. But, you know, we all have those crazy weeks um, or crazy times in our lives where our schedules are just hectic and we really don't have time to devote to a full wash day. Um, but your hair still feels dry or you feel like, you know, you still got to make keep it up and make it look nice and, and moisturize it. So this is what this video is all about. I'll show you what I do in between washes. A key note though is that I don't go more than two weeks without washing my hair. In fact, by the end of that second week, I'm like dying to wash my hair because I just don't like to go too long without washing my hair in general. But again, as I said, life gets hectic and things happen and we still gotta keep it looking nice, okay? So this is what this video is all about. Um, for all of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you subscribe. You can hit that red button below and subscribe. And you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Simply For Me. Um, for everyone else, thank you again for tuning in. So stay tuned to see the rest of the video. Okay guys, so to begin, you basically need just a few things. You need a spray bottle with water. You need your tools such as your butterfly clips here. I'm also going to be using this to kind of clip in my clip my hair away from my face if I need to. I have a pair of shears here because as you know I like to cut off any um, single strand knots that I can't seem to untangle. Um, and then I have my products. I have my um, Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner. I have my Jamaican Black Castor Oil, and then I have my Camille Rose Naturals curl -Aid Moisture Butter. So these are the three products I'm going to be using to um, seal in the moisture into my hair. So let's get started. So right now I just have a style, a protective style that I've had on. It's winter here in the U.S. and it gets really, really cold. So I like to put my hair in protective styles throughout the winter. Um, and so I've had this all week. I haven't really done much. Actually, I haven't done anything to it. I just had it in and this is the first time I'm taking it out since then. And you know, when you have a protective style, you don't want to leave it in there too, too long. Um, usually I don't go more than a week without taking out the protective style. Even if I'm not washing my hair, I would take it out and do this, um, process that I'm about to show you and then put it in a, in a protective style again okay um, so that's what I usually do now when you're taking out your hair from the hair bed after it's been a week as you can tell it can get um, your hair can kind of tangle in with the um, hair tie so be careful when you're taking that out so this is my hair it's been like this all week it's dry and thirsty so that's why we're doing this okay so you want to be gentle with it you don't want to pull and yank right now it needs to be detangled but um i'm not you don't you shouldn't detangle dry hair but um because it's kind of been clumped together for some time i'm just gently um separating the strands i'm not doing any major detangling just kind of separating them a little bit okay Whew, feels nice to go through my scalp. <laughs> so now that I have it kind of like separated, what I'm gonna do is separate it into four sections. Or if you wanna kind of go back to the same hairstyle you had throughout the week, you can leave it the way it's parted. I'm gonna just remove my ring because it makes it easier. So um, I guess in this case, I'll do it four sections, but kind of still do the general style because I'm gonna be redoing the same style I had. So this is what I'm going to do here. So this is one section and I'm going to clip that. This is another section here. Just gently pull those strands apart because as I said, my hair just, you know, gets all tangled. So that's another section in the front here. And then the ones in the back, I'm going to split into two sections. So 
So for the purpose of keeping the video short and not too lengthy, what I'll do is just show you the process on two sections and then I will just complete the other two sections off camera. Um, it's going to be essentially the same thing I'm doing from section to section. I just sectioned my hair into four because my hair is very thick and it's, you know, average length. So it's just easier for me to manage when I split it up into sections rather than doing the whole thing. Okay, so I will be starting out with this back section right here. I like to start out the back, I don't know why. It's just something I've always done. Um, so I'm going to be just lightly separating and so here's where I'll just bunch them up and then start spraying with water. Now it's up to you. You don't have to spray it till it's wet, meaning dripping wet, but you definitely want it at the very least, you definitely want it damp, okay? Um, I'm just working the moisture into my hair because it's been so dry. It's not really taking in that moisture as well. Okay, there we go. I'm just trying to make sure everything is saturated with water. And that's all that's in the spray bottle, it's just water. You can put aloe vera juice if you like, or some, some people like to put glycerin in it. I haven't tried a spray bottle with glycerin before. I don't know how that will I think glycerin is a humectant, so you know it just depends on what the weather is like outside. Sometimes it's able to draw moisture from the atmosphere. Um, anyway, I'll tell y'all about some of that later. Um, so anyway, the point here is that I'm now that it's wet, it's easier to detangle a little bit. And you want to be careful when I'm detangling my hair. Essentially, I don't just take two strands and yank. I take, I use all my fingers to provide support for the strands, and then I'm able to pull them apart a little bit easier than if I just um, took my strands and was just kind of like yanking them apart. So I'm just feeling for those um, um, hair strands that are just obviously really tangled and just making sure. Now some people like to detangle with brushes and that's fine too. When my hair was shorter, as a shorter natural, it was easy for me to do that with a hairbrush. But now that my hair has grown a little bit more since then, it just is, it's just not, it does, just doesn't work for me as well as if I use my fingers. Um, so I'm just feeling that's pretty, okay. So in order to make this process easier, you know, it's nice, it's nice to have some slut when you're detangling. So I'm going to add my leave-in conditioner to that part of my hair. And I don't need a lot, I just need a little bit. And you want to do it from root to tip. Um, yeah, so now I'm just feeling for knots in my hair to see if there's anything I need to detangle and um, I'm just taking those out. So now that I'm kind of like okay with this part, I'm gonna, I already added the um, leave-in conditioner so I'm gonna be adding my Jamaican black castor oil and I, ooh, I overdid it. I was just about to say I don't need a whole lot, just a little bit and I'm gonna the strands like that. Now that I'm done with that bit, I am going to use my um, Camille Rose hair. What is this? Curl Age <laughs> Moisture Butter um, to seal it in. And I want to concentrate a bit more on the ends here just to make sure that they are nice and well taken care of. Okay, so that part's done. I think I was able to successfully take out a lot of the knots that I found. Um, I don't feel... And you know, I'm not as detailed with my detangling process. I mean, I'm doing it and I'm making sure I'm taking out any of the major like tangles and kinks, but I'm not terribly like, 
I don't know. I'm not doing it as detailed as I normally would because I'm still going to put my hair back in a protective style. And while that's not an excuse, but you know, if you're short on time, don't worry about making it like super detangled. This is a knot that I wasn't able to get out. Um, so I'm just going to snip it right at where it forms. Um, anyway, so I was saying, don't worry about like, you know, taking, making sure every single thing is out. Just as long as any major tangles are done taken care of and you separated most of your strands, you're in good shape. Um, especially if you're going to be putting it back into a protective style. If I were going to be doing a twist out, then I'd do more detail because, um, the definition of your twist out depends on how well your hair is detangled. So if you don't detangle it properly, sometimes it can your twist out can look a little funky. Um, and if I were going to be doing a twist out, this is where I'd be doing it. So I'd separate the, this section, make sure each section is nice and detangled, then I'll twist it. Um, but I'm not doing that, so I'm good with this. I'm going to do a big twist just to um, get it out of the way, but I am not doing a twist out because it's way too cold and I need to protect my hair. Um, so I'm just gonna do that just to for now and then when I'm done with all my sections I'll loosen that up again and then do my protective style so now that that's done I'm just wrapping it around and using my butterfly clip in the back to secure it I'm gonna repeat the same step on this section So basically, I repeat these steps on the other two sections, it's basically the same thing. And then once you're done, um, you can take down the twist and then style your hair into your next protective style. In my case, I'm just going to be doing the same thing. And as I mentioned earlier, if you're going to do a twist out, just as soon as you're done um, with each section, do your twists as you move before you move on to the next section. Like do your actual twists for your twist outs, not these big chunky twists. All right, guys. So that's it. It's very simple, as you can, you can tell. It's very straightforward, but it's really nice to kind of refresh your hair in between washes. So I hope you found it helpful. Um, let me know what you do to refresh your hair in between washes. Certainly, leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Give it a thumbs up to support my channel as well. If you like this video, um, I'm on Facebook and Instagram at Simple For Me. You can certainly follow me there. And again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.